On the 14th day of Advent, Flaviar sent to me 14 barrel staves, 13 unlucky hunts, 12 years of aging, 11 allocated bottles, 10 angry wives, 9 good price tags, 8 empty bottles, 7 bakers, 7, 6 broken corks, 5 golden pours, 4 noses nosing, 3 whiskey stones, 2 Glencairn glasses, and a big box of whiskey. What's up everybody? Welcome back to day number 14 of the 24 days of 2023 Whiskey Advent Calendar on Whiskey Tears with a lot to say. Okay, welcome back. Yesterday we had the Loch, Loch Lee uh, Scotch, which I really enjoyed. Uh, I forgot to give it a ranking when I filmed that video, but I'd pr probably put it pretty solid B tier. So if you saw yesterday's, I forgot, I'm sorry, it's in the B tier. But today we're going on to day number 14. <laughs> Popping open, what is that? A headdress. All right, popping day number 14 here. Not gonna look, just gonna guess it straight out of the vial. All right, that one looks a little bit darker, more along the lines of what I normally drink. We'll see if that transfers over onto the get, turn up onto the nose and onto the palate. So, hopefully, you all oh, a little bit lighter in the glass actually than I thought, but hopefully, you guys are enjoying this whiskey advent that I've done throughout December. Do me one big favor, you can support the channel absolutely for free just by hitting that subscribe button down below. Coming towards the end of December and then going into next year, we'll be getting back to your regular scheduled content. Day 14 on the nose. Not what I was expecting. What was that? Oh, what is that? It's like a... It's like a flower. It's like a sweet flower, but it's like, you know, the green stem part where it, when it's kind of like fuzzy and has the hair on it. That's what it smells like. Very grassy, very rooty, but also very sweet. It has some kind of fruit overtone on it. What is that? You know what it is? It's like a dandelion. It smells kind of like a dandelion, but like a sweet dandelion. So I'm completely confused here on day number 14. Did pretty good yesterday on day number 13, but this one has on the nose thrown me for a loop. It's in the Flaviar Glen Cairn glass today that came out of the center of this thing. So good luck to me, good luck to you down the hatch. Woo, that is a spicy girl. That'd be a rye. The nose in is nothing like what it tastes. That is a, well, maybe a little bit. The, the end gives me that lingering of like a dandelion taste. But up front was a lot of spice and a lot of like sweet caramel. Yeah, a lot of spice up front. Tingly spice up front, like uh, a little bit of dry wood in there too. A little bit of dry wood, but that spice is more like a, uh, like maybe an allspice on there, but it like kind of like tickles the tongue just a little bit. And then it kind of goes into finish. It finishes like it smells more of that dandelion. It actually hangs on for a good bit. And then it does have sweet undertones of a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of caramel, but not too much other than that. So that's what, this one's a hard one. I think because of the level of spice that I'm getting from it, the nose really has me confused. Like this could be something from some weird country somewhere. And I just have never had something like this before, but all right, let me do proof and type here before we get into the end of the video. I think I'm gonna go rye. I'm gonna go 94. See the spice on rye, if it is a rye, always makes it seem a little bit more proofy than it actually is. So I think I'm gonna go 94 and I'm gonna go a rye. So this is what, day number 14. So there's 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm going 94 and a rye. And in today's video, did I do any good at all? I'm looking for 94 and a rye, you all know before I know, hopefully it's not too embarrassing, but I am super curious about this one because that one on the nose was one of the more unique things I've tasted and really flipped it on the backside, but, oh, what? What? I've never had a Yellowstone before. A Yellowstone American single malt whiskey coming in at 54%, so this is officially the highest proof that we have had yet come out of the box. I'm excited that we're finally getting up over 100. It says the tasting notes are Honey, peach, sweet, pear, fruit, stone fruits, dates, oaks, and cinnamon. I did get the cinnamon, I did get the oak. Interesting. I'm still getting a lot of that dandelion on the back end. It is sweet, so maybe it was just 
off on the sweetness of what they're saying here, but hey, I've seen Yellowstone everywhere. I've never picked up a bottle. So it's pretty cool that I was able to uh, try one out here today on day number 14, the Yellowstone American Single Malt Whiskey. The nose is just so interesting. It's so much different than I was expecting. I think if I was to rank today on the tier system, probably put it C tier. I like American single malts, I have nothing against them, but I think this one's gonna go on C tier for me just because it's so strange and I don't quite know if I like it. So that's it for day 14. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I'll see you tomorrow for day 15.